I'm here with um, Nahla Tabba, um, mm -hmm. who is uh, of the urban reflect an urban reflection project in Amman. Um, what this project is is it's um, it's hard to say. You can't really call it a community art project nor um, an urban intervention project. It's somewhere in the middle where I was just trying to bring in artists here, emerging artists, to have. Um, a more community-based role in, uh, in how they produce their art and uh, in terms of where they produce their art, you know, it didn't really have to be confined to any gallery spaces or any museums, but rather could be embedded into, you know, the urban and daily fabric of our lives. Which is a central tenet of... Um, it is, it is. Your... I mean, I, I've been feeling this and I've been seeing it all over the world. This is research I've been doing for... Since, since I've been in college, since I moved to London, I mean, uh, in our art education, we were sort of uh, invited to continuously create site-specific works, intervene with the city of London, and somehow that kind of developed my state of mind and the way I could think and draw inspiration from it. We uh, created this residency program where we'd have talks and meetings, take them on tours um, uh, throughout the neighborhood in partnership with Hamza Tawasan, who are leading this, this tour right now. And um, through that, we we just stored, so gave the artists this criteria where whatever it was they, they sought to create would would sort of spring from the context of the environment that would be very community inclusive from the beginning because uh, this is this is one thing we've seen with public art and this is a debate that um, that that I've been studying a lot. I basically this was my master's project. We we didn't uh, mention that before, but I've been uh, doing my master's for the last year in curatorial practice, and I specialized in. Um, Curating urban art and urban interventions, and also how to how to measure how they actually impact communities. So this is this is something I've been very interested. And how has the community here in Jabal Al Qala received this? They've received it in in a way that was beyond our imagination. Honestly, I mean, they're such wonderful people, and uh, you know they. It, it's funny, you almost think it's ironic because they seem to grasp the project far more than I've seen, you know, artistic audiences going to who attend frequent exhibitions and galleries and museums have received works in there. They, it's, it's just been amazing. In terms of the work, some are ephemeral, some are more sustainable and uh, I mean the ephemeral works have, have been measured, everything's been documented throughout and uh, as for the more sustainable works, I mean... We, Where is it documented? Uh, we, we've got a Facebook fan yeah. page, we've got a blog, um, we're trying to capture more video footage so, okay. so that's another big deal for us. Um, in terms of you know, what, what happens after we leave. I've been saying to artists who just haven't had the time to participate, you know, due to other obligations that, at the end of the day, this is a community project. You don't need to do this just to be glorified by the opening of an exhibition, you know? If you have it in you to do it, you do it. You know, this is the first time I ever carry something out on this scale, and uh, I definitely don't want to stop here, you know? I, and I want to move into different areas and build these relationships with different people because honestly it's been a really rewarding experience. A lot of work but it's been great. And you have a lot of people who've been supportive of the project. I mean, uh, uh, you know, people from NGOs have been coming in. Uh, uh, people very concerned with the, urban, uh, with the urban environment basically and how to develop it as well as uh, an art audience. I mean an audience who would regularly frequent galleries. So far the, the funds we've raised have been through personal donations and a bake sale. So it's quite um, we're still it's it's it was an organic process rather than uh, than getting a sponsorship uh, donation but that hasn't hindered us from moving forward with our project and uh, okay. And you know people are still very very supportive. We have a lot of people who are looking to collaborate somehow. Um, try to make, uh, you know, we're considering other things, how to make the area slightly greener or our works greener and more environmentally friendly, how to address uh, the trash um, issue and things like that. Everyone just came and did and, and that's it. it. It's still so simple, it's still yep. so humble in its, uh, in its own right, like even though it's grown, even though we, you know, 
we are partner partnering up with different people to make it even bigger like we still feel very small in all of it about narrating these stories collecting them somehow and as artists it's just having having a role to do something epic you know do you think the artist has a responsibility towards society towards I don't, himself? I don't think it's a responsibility, but it's an opportunity. To me, the future of contemporary art is socially inclusive, um, a new genre of public art. That, that I believe, that's how I foresee it to be. So I think, I mean, you have Olya for Eliasen, who, um, who had been commissioned to do phenomenal projects. And his last project was a solar paneled um, you know, he, he worked with a community in South Africa to create solar panel uh, lights. Then, if someone like him is working on community-based projects, yep. it tells you something about the role that artists can play. This bakery has been burnt down for like 30 years, abandoned, uh, a garbage disposal. Um, so one artist was really intrigued by the space. with the space so this is just a sampler of uh, what she did she was also serving bread from uh, inside the bakery wearing a toxic waste uh, costume so oh, it was wow. a very interesting performance so I mean a lot of the works also just I believe that a lot of them are tools to demonstrate potential to change we might not have the, the facilities the funding to do that, but that that is possibly a role that the artist can play. Up here, you've got uh, another artist who's uh, who wanted to create a waterscape cascading. Uh, he wants to conclude this uh, this journey with a Sabina. Sabina is uh, is a, uh, a public water uh, tap and system to serve to the people. So. That's one thing too. So if you go all the way up these stairs, you just see this uh, quite a nice image. He's still not done, but we'll get there. It's kind of addressing the motion of the stairs and how they wind down like a waterfall. And the thing is, um, for a country that has uh, a huge water shortage issue, this is something that we uh, well, we fantasize about a lot, you know. So there are two artists, in fact, who address this issue of water. And, somehow bringing water yeah. and bringing the color blue into the community. We're going to keep going down towards our team and then I'm going to get you to look up and you'll see a really nice surprise. How's it going everybody? Good. Yeah? Nice. What happened there? It's a lovely yellow. Uh, Hello. Hi. So, you turn around now. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so amazing. <laughs> it's the most beautiful part actually was um, watching the kids play against it and just seeing how different the environment suddenly looked. When did you start on this? We started yesterday. We worked on it for Wow, you started hours. this yesterday. Yeah. And we just carried on down. Do you put one coat or do you put more than one coat? Uh, more than one coat and then we're going to cover it in lacquer. It also rained just after we did it, so we thought, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what it, wow, will it, it, well, it's it stay? It sustained itself, yeah. This is random, so, so you can paint like that. So it never paints here. Yeah, yeah you can paint that. I love this color. I know. So is this one color that you have or did you mix it? This is just one color. I love this. Yeah, yeah this is really strange. Hey. It's strangely um, therapeutic as well. Yes. We got donations. So, wow, people donate paint here? If only I knew. Uh, okay, so positive. Yeah. And he's like, do you paint only this stair? I'm like, no, no, not only this stair. We we're going to paint some more. 
Yeah. You got really excited. What's the kind of thing? 